Good morning. Here we are, we're on our brioche hat. I have decided that I'm going to give you a video for barking and for burping and for the decreases as we go. Um, for tonight's class, um, I'm hoping to, I mean, I'm sorry, for around Friday night's class, I'm going, I'm hoping to have for you the barking and the burping round as well as um, the, the, the decrease rounds which create these here, okay, not as opposed to the crown, uh, the crown de decreases should be uh, done the same way. I'm not entirely positive about that because I haven't gone up through the pattern there, but I believe they'll end up being done um, in the same fashion where you, you know, the decrease um, comes down by one as opposed to these decreases, which are taking down two stitch, taking down two stitches at a time, I believe. Um, in any case, I just finished a burping row. Okay, I just re finished uh, round 5 cc, which is just a plain burping row. And now I'm on row 6. All of the all of the, the um, even numbered rounds are just burping or bark barking or burping. Okay, so I'm going to slip. So be first of all, because I'm at the end of my, my purled, my burping row, both of my yarns are sitting here in the front because I had maintained my yarn over from the row before, so I, I had brought it forward. So the beginning of every even round, we need to make sure that we're, I mean every uh, main color round, and we have to make sure we bring our yarn to the back, okay? So we always start the main color round, and my main color is blue, with the yarn in the back, okay? And the instructions even say that with yarn and back, and then they they start their instructions. They say to bark and then to then to yarn over across around around. Okay, so my yarn's in the back. I'm slipping it. I'm going to start with continental. Nancy, I will definitely slip to to um, change over to English halfway or so through this round, so that you can see both the English and the continental styles of this brioche stitch. Apologize for not having any brioche for you this morning, but we'll just have to move forward. Hopefully my um, audio is good enough here. Um, I'm working from my phone without a headset, um, so my voice is having to go to the phone as opposed to right through the headset. So round um, the, the main color round is barking. I'm on round six. It's an even number. It's all just bark and slip. Okay, a yarn over and slip. Okay, so we're going to bark. When we bark, we take, we make sure that we knit through both. Let me bring that close. We make sure we knit through both the slip, the knit, the stitch that you slipped and yarned over in the row before. So there we go. We have the stitch and its yarn over from the row before. We're going to bark it. Right? So we just knit it together. That's a bark. Okay. The next stitch, our yarn is in the back and it belongs there. And it's going to stay in. We're going to bring it forward. Sorry. And then we're going to slip this next stitch over. And then we're going to bark. Okay, see that? I'm going to slip the next stitch with a yarn over. So we're bringing the, the yarn forward, going to slip, and it's always purl-wise unless otherwise noted. Slip it over, keep your yarn overs still there, and then knit. Or bark. Okay, so I'm going to do this around. Yarn forward, go into slip purlwise, slip it, yarn goes over the top and back, knit it. If you hear wild screaming sounds in the background, please know that no children were hurt during the making of this video. Okay. So we're on a slip again. The yarn's going to come forward. We're going to slip it 
the purl wise the yarn ends up naturally going to the back to, to knit or bark the next wrapped stitch from the round before okay so can you see that let's see hopefully my video is not blurry but forward slip goes to the back so that you can knit the next stitch and naturally creates that yarn over the thing that you want to be careful of is that you make sure you get that yarn over that when you pull this forward you don't just simply simply stitch slip and bring it back Deb I believe that's what you were doing you were doing this you brought it back you didn't keep it here to bark the next stitch and knit it okay so this is the continental style slip it goes over knit bark rough rough slip see the yarn going over bark I have my I'm not at the beginning of another round I have my um, 18 stitches set off with stitch markers so that I'll know if I'm in the right place at the end of each uh, 18 stitches so yarn forward slip yarn back to knit the next stitch so again I'm at a, re a, a repeat section here but I can see that each one I have my worked stitch I have my wrapped stitch I have my worked stitch I have my wrapped stitch my worked and wrapped and worked and wrapped okay so on these knit rounds that is what you're doing you're doing your work and work and slip work and slip work and slip okay work bark slip work slip work slip okay we're at work again all right I hope I'm not making you dizzy okay my yarns in the back just like it's supposed to be I'm still barking and, and slipping or barking and wrapping or whatever's going to make you think it bark yarn over just know that with your yarn over you're also slipping okay so here we go I'm going to work another work through this this repeat here and then I'm going to sl slip to continent change to uh, Amer uh, English so bark yarn forward so yarn forward slip as if to purl slip it over yarn back knit bark okay yarn forward I can do this too I can just say I'm going to slip it but then I have to remember to put that back over and knit and that's why I'm an advocate of doing it in one kind of one motion right bring your yarn forward go in as if to purl slip them both over and bark and be careful not to pick up your prior worked stitch there hopefully there are no mistakes in this row below me that I have to work out in front of you and confuse you but slip bark almost to the end of this little repeat yarn forward go into purl knit and it ends <clears throat> it ends with the yarn over slip yarn back okay so now I'm on the next repeat I'll get myself some yarn here which of course is going to not do crazy things on me excuse me while I fix that this problem with live video I'm not going to bother to um, pause because I really actually need to get going to work this morning I bring my knitting back here and we'll 
start again. Now I'm going to switch to my green marker is my uh, beginning of round marker, so I'll know when I get there. I have a different colored beginning of round marker, right? The tail of my prior yarn can tell me that too. Okay, so I had this as a yarn over. Remember that. Okay, so I'm going to put it back there. And I'm going to slip, change to English netting here. Okay, I'm going to slip. And remember we're barking and yarn over. Okay, so here it is. It's in my right hand. I'm going to knit. And forgive me as I get used to doing this style because I don't. So I have to bring my yarn forward. I have to slip. And then I have to knit the next one. Okay. Or on a purl. So I'm going to go yarn forward. Slip. Yarn over and knit. Okay. Same thing. So let me hold it so you can see it. Yarn forward, go into purl, slip it over, bring the yarn back over, or yarn over, and knit the next stitch. Sorry, this is a little awkward for me because it's not how I typically knit anymore. Okay, so I have to bring my yarn, and I'm trying to do a third camera lens. Yarn forward, slip, yarn back over. Just so you can see it, that I'm going to go into this as if to knit first. Knit my brio stitch there. My yarn is going over my needle. And I'm going to knit. Just remember that it has to go over. Okay. This has to get wrapped. When you slip it, you have to have your yarn over your needle. Okay. So let's do that for the rest of this round. Yarn forward. Slip. If I keep that yarn forward there and I go to knit, this next stitch, it will naturally come over the needle right here. See it? So if I'm throwing, especially, if I bring the yarn forward, I slip my next stitch, and then I go to bark my next stitch here. I have to make sure they get separated. I go to bark my next stitch. This yarn that I brought forward is going to naturally have to come over the needle to knit that next stitch. Okay? See how it's creating the yarn over there? Right there? Okay. So, bring my yarn forward, slip my next stitch. Because my yarn is in the forward position when I go to knit my bark, when I go to do my bark, when I go to bark, it's going to create that yarn over. See it? It's right there. Forgive my messy nails. Alrighty. So they're all being created. Same way. Yarn forward. Slip. Knit. Creates the yarn over. Yarn forward. Slip. Yarn over. And we're going to knit the next stitch. Should be coming up on a green marker here. Yeah, we are. Okay. So I'm going to get some more green color yarn because we're going to switch to contrast color momentarily and do our burping rows. After I burp, 
this video will end and I'll see if I can get the decrease video out later on today. I have to go to work. Um, well, go to work means go behind me about three feet here and sit at my, uh, at my work desk. So I'm going to, oops, I was doing English, wasn't I? Okay, my yarn was forward. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to go ahead and knit my next stitch, crease my yarn over, and does my bark. Okay. Burping is going to be the same thing as you know, except pro-wise. Okay, my yarn forward, slip, knit. I think we have enough of these now for you to back up if you need to and just watch the motion as many times as you need to to get it right on yours. Okay. And this is the crux of brioche knitting. If you did a straight, just did this all the way up the top, you can, you know, for, you know, like eight, eight inches or whatever, you would have a hat and you could just draw it through, draw it through, draw your yarn through all of the um, stitches to close it up. But these, I think the beauty of brioche is in the traveling, almost like cabling of these stitches. It's very pretty. <clears throat> so, yarn forward. Slip as if to purl. Go into bark. Bark, and it creates your yarn over right here. Okay. Oh, almost got to yarn forward. So, yarn forward. Slip. Yarn to the back, knit. I didn't do anything differently there, I just said it differently. Okay. Yarn forward, slip, yarn over, knit. My yarn is over, right? But it's also in position to knit <clears throat> the next bark stitch. Forgive the blurriness here. <clears throat> I'm not a professional vlogger, but okay. Slip. Knit. Unfortunately for you, once you get this, you can fast forward. And go to the burping. Okay. I'm at the beginning of my round. I know because my tail, my main color is coming up and my different colored marker is there. So I just did a yarn over. I'm sorry, I keep switching hands. Did my yarn over and now I'm going to knit. Personally, when I continent, when I American knit, I generally try to keep control of the yarn so yeah and I'm going to end yarn forward slip and this is what I was talking about in the prior round I'm going to bring that actually all the way around on the end just so that it maintains <clears throat> excuse me so that it maintains this yarn over at the end so I don't lose it when I go to um, work it with my purl round so on that last stitch of the round, what I did was not only did I bring the yarn forward before the slip, like I, the, like we know, always do, right? I brought it forward. I actually brought it over. I brought it to the back, over the needle, and then I'm bringing it back to the to the front, just to get it to make sure that it stays in place. Now I'm going to have to remember when I come back to my knitting round to bring this yarn back but the instructions say with yarn and back so you will okay bring it to the back so my pearl my um contrast color yarn is here and is already in place and ready to go so i'm just going to pull some up and i'm going to slip my beginning of the round marker and i will start this I'll, I'll go ahead and start it in the con in the English fashion, okay? So 
let me get my contrast color of course that's throwing me for a loop here no pun intended um, okay so the burping rounds begin and we can tell how they begin because I have a worked blue stitch here okay and I don't have a yarn over so we know that 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 is going to get wrapped in this round and that is going to be a um, the yarns already in the forward position that's going to be a slip wrap yarn over to the front okay do you see that okay so the pearl slips the yarns already in the front it belongs there okay remember we always slip as if to pearl unless otherwise noted slip yarn over and to the front so you're actually wrapping that stitch around okay so there's the wrap and now you're ready to burp ready burp away my hand does have to come in front of the stitch I'm sorry to purl this way so so again my yarn is already in the front go into purl slip it yarn over and back to the front burp two together remember when you're barking burping you're always doing it together with the wrap Okay. and try to spread them out so you can see them this is obviously a worked stitch that's a wrapped stitch that's a burped stitch okay now we're going to have a wrap stitch okay so the yarns in the front already slip as if to purl maybe I'll just bring that over already just 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 drop it to the back and pick it up and bring it forward to purl my next stitch to burp okay I'm going to do this continental now so that I can move along a little and so that you can see it and my hands aren't continuously going in front of the stitching okay so I switched my contrast color here my yarn needs to be forward I'm going to slip I bring the yarn forward and I'm going to burp Okay. Yarn stays forward, slip, burp. Notice just like when I was barking, if my yarn is in the right position, which is forward, and I go ahead and slip this, and wrap, I'm going to wrap it around to the front, it's in the right place to burp. Okay. And that's the wrapped stitch right there. Okay. Slip. Wrap. Yarn over. The yarn over is over the top, around to the back, and back to the front again. So it's already front. Slip. The yarn over goes around to the back. And to the front again so that you can purl your next stitch we're already through the first repeat so let bring it back to the front purl okay and there they are wrap work wrap work okay these sections are ending with a worked stitch or burp a bar burped stitch okay so here we go I'm going to slip them and I'm going to burp them so because you know that the yarn over is always with the slip I'm going to just start saying slip and burp okay or I'll say yarn over and burp okay because yarn over, burp. Because I know, and you know, that when I'm doing a yarn over, there's always a slipped stitch with it. So yarn over, 
burp. My yarn over, my yarn's already in the front, it slips the next stitch, it wraps it back to the front, and burps. Slips the next stitch, brings it to the front, and burps. Yarn to the front, slip, wrap it around, bring it back to the front, burp. Front, slip, bring it back to the front, burp. Wrap, wrap, burp. End of that repeat. There were 18 stitches in the repeats. So you have, I think it's four or five, re four or five repeats, depending on which size hat you're doing. I'm doing the 72 stitch. Okay. There are only 12 sets of rounds for the body of this hat. So you can do this. Just use this video to get through the knits and the, the barking and the burping. You can, you can, you really can do this. And the decreases are not as ominous as they look, okay? They really are not. So let's slip, burp. Slip, burp. Slip, Slip, burp. Okay, let me go back to English. Get myself some more yarn. Back to English. Yarn forward. Because it's supposed to be there. Slip. Yarn over and to the front. Burp. Slip. Yarn over and to the front. Slip, yarn over, and to the front, burp, slip, yarn over, and to the front. Slip, yarn over, and to the front. Burp. Slip, yarn over, and to the front. Burp. I cannot bring myself to actually burp. Slip. Yarn over and to the front. Burp. Slip. Yarn over and to the front. Burp. Slip, yarn over, and to the front. Burp. I'm at the end of my round, and I'm at a half an hour on this video. Slip, yarn over, burp. 
So I'm going to do these last few stitches, and then I'm going to say adieu until I come back again with a video for decreasing, for the decreases. There are two different decreases. Two, I believe two. Two different double decreases, I think. But we'll look at that together, okay? Slip, yarn over to the front. Slip. I do want to get to the end of this round so we can talk about that main color being in the front when we get there and not losing that stitch. Okay, so here we are at it. Okay, slip, yarn over to the front, and our next one's a burp, and this is why I brought that to the front, that main color to the front on the last row, so that I wouldn't lose this yarn over and it would be there for my last burp. Okay, so I'm going to burp that stitch, just as normal. I'm going to slip my beginning of the round marker, and now I'm on a main color row, okay, I'm on row um, 7, and row 7 is also just a, a bark round and a burp round. So to start row 7 on the main color, I just have to remember to bring this yarn to the back here, where it belonged, okay, so my, my contrast colors in the front, and my knit colors and the my my main colors in the back, and I'm ready to go ahead and start the next round, which is going to begin as bark burp bark burp because you know which is the opposite of what we just did. So whenever you see the wrapped stitch, you know you're either barking or you're burping, right? So and whenever you see one that doesn't have a wrap, that's the one that you're going to wrap on on this round. So that's the one that's going to get either uh, that's going to get wrapped, <clears throat> whether it's purl wise or whether it's knit wise. So that's the end of this video, and I'm really looking forward to getting together with you um, Friday night for our additional session. I'm hoping that this video will get you off to a great start, and um, if anyone needs any help getting their their initial round done, I can help with that if you pull back to the beginning. But if you're if you're started and you're ready to keep going, there you know that's there. Okay, so I will see you. I will see you in the next video, and then I will see you on Friday night. Take care and have a wonderful day. And I'll see the book down the bottom, knitting without tears. It's my motto. You really should. Don't